What's going on, people? Welcome back. Welcome back. Nah, I didn't pause there for it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in a very, very good mood today. So, um, Sons of Anarchy, Redwood Original, whatever this logo says. But we are here to watch another episode, another two episodes, by the way, because I've been doing double uploads of Sons of Anarchy since now we're taking a break from the walking dead so until it returns hopefully we can get through the first season before i decide to go back to the walking dead of course somebody has left some suggestions of how i should watch the episodes at one point they suggested me watching four episodes i that's not gonna happen <laughs> i'm sorry that's probably not going to happen unless these episodes are straight fire you already know okay so i'm letting you guys know from now that if that does happen then it does but there's no promises i can't promise you i'm gonna watch four episodes in one sitting for this show um okay if the episodes are fire like the only reason why i did that with the walking dead was because the episodes were so good you get what i'm saying the episodes were so good this is the first season of sense of anarchy okay so I'm not I'm not at that level yet like what I'm at with The Walking Dead in season 7. I'm just not I'm not at that level yet. that the the my interest is the interest is there but the the the, the level of entertainment that I get from TWD I don't think I'm there yet with Sons of Anarchy. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So I can't promise you guys that I'll do four episodes in one sitting or three episodes. So right now I'm doing double uploads because you guys say you should upload Sons of Anarchy more. Um, so that's what I'm doing. But anyways, let's jump into it. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so Sons of Anarchy, Season 1, Episodes 5 and 6. I enjoyed those very much. Um, a lot of these episodes, I mean, the story that's going on right now is that they're under, they're under investigation. So we're going to see how they maneuver that. And, you know, the, the sewer thing was genius, but disgusting at the same time. Um you know, but the, 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 the real interesting thing about this, this um, show, you know, is how it tackles certain ideas. Like, of course, you, you, you watching the show, you're going to get caught up in the Sons of Anarchy life. You know what I'm saying? The reason why, you know, when you watch TV shows, you cheer for bad people. Um, you know, if that's what's being presented as the main characters in the show, you're going to cheer for them. You know, just like you know, watching Power or Breaking Bad, you know they're doing something wrong, but you're still cheering for them because they, it's like the show kind of gives you a, a, an out. It kind of gives you, a, it's not something that we'll, we, we're not going to cheer that on in real life. Let's be honest. We're not going to see criminals doing criminal things. If you're not a criminal yourself, you're not going to be like, oh, that's cool. No, no, nothing's cool about gun running. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not cool. That's criminal criminal stuff if you're celebrating that in real life you know what i'm saying something is probably wrong with you <laughs> you know um that stuff get people killed you know it it serves a, a not a great purpose in any direction at all even though the government is probably like the biggest gun runners in the entire world but it is what it is right so in the context of the show you're gonna cheer for them because you're so involved with them you feel like you're a part of it and that's one of the things that's um, good about TV is is the immersion that immersion that you get when you watch it because you feel like you're a part of that world, like you the the world engulfs you, the universe engulfs you in the context of the show, and you know you don't want to cheer for them because you know they're doing criminal stuff, they're killing people, they're burning people's tattoos off their back, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're running guns. They're doing all this criminal stuff. They just killed a bunch of people. Mind you, I don't feel sorry for them because, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, they did a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's, it's criminals killing criminals, basically. 
you know, but, you know, we give them a pass because we're so like, there's this conflict that's going on with Jax also that we're also following that path of him reading through these stories from his dad, um, the stuff that his dad wrote, you know, that's really given him um, a sort of, what do you call it, a, a, a sort of purpose, a conflict that's going on within himself is like, how should I approach things while I'm vice president of this club? So I'm looking forward to seeing more. Gemma is a badass. I love her. <laughs> I love her character so much um, in this show. And I think she's more badass than everybody in the club. Like she is just that. She is that. She's the one, bro. She is the one. Don't mess with her. She would f you up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's the thing that I get from her every single time, man. You know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, awesome time, awesome time enjoying this show so much. I don't have much else to say about these two episodes, man. I'm just seeing the development of the ATF, the real ATF coming in the picture because this dude is in town to stalk his ex-girlfriend that is trying to really like avoid him and stuff like that and i think it's going to escalate to a point where Jax is probably going to do something about it or probably not he is obsessed with this girl he doesn't want to see her with anybody else and all this other stuff i don't feel sorry for him at all i don't like dudes that are like that i don't like women that are like that it's annoying it's stupid it's dangerous there's so many different things that is not good about a stalker, you know, so, um, so yeah, man, clay patch things up. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe we're going to see more of this girl that comes, came around for the prospect and all this other stuff. And if you guys thought that your comments went on scene, no, they have not. I see the comments when you guys were telling me that's the reason why clay slept with her is because he, you know, the prospect, you know, thought Gemma was, was hot. You know what I'm saying? She thought he, you know, he, th he, and he heard her say it. So, I mean, he heard him, the, he heard the prospect, Clay heard the, the prospect said it, say it. So, you know, that's why he slept with the girl he was interested in, um, in Vegas. So, well, it's the Las Vegas edition. I don't want to say Vegas because, well, it was Vegas. Well, yeah, it's the Las Vegas charter that they, you know, they did the crossover, whatever, the patch over, they called it, so, um, so that was pretty cool, so, I'm looking forward to seeing more, next time, we're probably going to do a triple upload, because somebody suggested that I did, so I'm going to try to do a triple upload, so, wow, then the motorcycle just blazed past my house, anyways, weird, <laughs> very weird, right, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, as always, I appreciate all of you guys for coming, checking out this reaction, man, you guys are awesome, don't forget to hit those like buttons, man, hit the like button, man, let people know, let the algorithm know that, that you guys are enjoying this series, watching this reaction with me, let people know that we do full reactions over here, leave a comment in the comment section, as always, and subscribe if you are new. Don't just watch my reactions, man. Subscribe to the channel so you can have the notifications turned on so you'll know when more Sands of Anarchy is out. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Gratitude is never enough. Peace.